Daily Broadside, day 709. You ever notice that, like, the wink that you do to lie to other people to get them to be in on your uh, little ruse you got going on, where you're like, that's right, I'm seven foot four. You know, that way that they know that, you know, you're not really seven foot four, but play along. I've got something cooking here, all right? I was watching somebody do that the other day, and I thought to myself, I don't know, you know, this is universally accepted. If I were to go like that to anybody, they would just, if they decided to play along, they would know that I was kidding or I was, you know, trying to, you know, drag somebody along, string them along, whatever. Pull the wool over their eyes. Uh, where did we, where do we learn how to do that? I don't ever remember in my life, you know, my formative years, uh, ever anybody saying, now listen, son, when anybody's trying to pull the wool over someone else's eyes, the universally accepted wing is a you do that, and then they know. But you got to do it where the person who's the mark doesn't see you doing it. So you're like, look, a bird, you know, or, or whatever. But then there's people that can't wink, which is weird to me. I find it strange if you can't wink. Some people are too dumb to blink, but I'm talking about winking. Right. One at a time. One at a time. But anyway, I just find it odd that we were never really taught that, you know. And by the way, Dave Mustaine excellent guitarist i like most of their stuff from megadeth and all but cryptic writings from 1997 has a song called she wolf apparently about something about like some horrible creature that you dated that was a female but nevertheless that riff is disposable heroes from 1986 metallica's master of puppets the greatest metal album of all time and i'm pretty sure by the time master came out all the mustaine riffs had been you know played out on the albums like they hadn't they didn't have any more almost 100% positive of that. So that said, Dave, uh, why are you ripping off the best Metallica song of all time with that riff? Dun, 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 it's the same riff. I mean, there's like one little thing. It's kind of like Vanilla Ice with uh, Queens uh, under pressure. Dun, 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 digga, dun, dun. No, mine goes dun, 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 digga, dun, dun, or whatever. You ever heard that interview? It's pretty funny. Anyway, uh, I was watching a video of Kobe, the late Kobe Bean Bryant, and he was talking about, they said, uh, what were the, some of the low points of your career? And he starts talking about, like, oh, the Olympics of 08 or, you know, losing to the Mavs in the semi-conference or the conference final. I don't know what he said, but uh, I got to the end of it, and nowhere in there did he ever mention the, I want to say it was Denver SA that he had against that young girl uh, in a hotel while he was married to Vanessa Bryant. And I would think that with all the accolades, basketball, you know, he's easily, in my opinion, top three, even if you want to stretch it to four, one of the best basketball players to ever grace the earth. But with all the accolades you got, the championships, the Olympic rings, the titles, the, you know, everything, the MVP, whatever, you, you know, you wrote a book, you, you endorse Nutella, which is a great hazelnut spread. If you've never had it, you're an idiot because you're missing out on so much life. But I would think that, you know, I could throw all that to the side and just be, I'm going to go with the essay. That was the lowest point of my career. But it's just funny how people that get charged with essay never really want to talk about it in a public forum, even when they're public people, you know? Uh, and if you've ever asked yourself, I just don't know if I would enjoy the death tones, you know? They seem so loud or what, whatever your reason is. Let me tell you something right now. The death tones are one of the greatest bands of all time. All right. I would put them in my top 20. Um, yeah, for sure. For sure. They might be 19, 17, somewhere, but they're in there, right? They're just amazing. Amazing. It's like 10, 11 records of just pure brilliance, right? But here's what you do. Okay. You go listen to Cherry Waves, uh, Digital Bath, um, Sex Tape, Rocket Skates, Entombed. Just take those songs right there and just close your mind and listen to them and tell me that Chino and those guys are not like some of the most brilliant, soulful, metal, just uh, ethereal, like, it's just amazing music, okay? And, but you got to prepare yourself with one thing, right? The one thing about the Deftones is no one, including Chino, knows what any of the songs are about because they're just a bunch, it's kind of like Kirk Cobain. He just threw a bunch of words down and it's just a word salad. It's like if Kamala Harris wrote uh, lyrics. It just, at the end of the day, you're reading it, you're like, this makes no sense. It's just talking in circles. But with the exception of Digital Bath, that's about putting a toaster in your bathtub. Uh, I think that's the only one that I've ever known what it's about. But at any rate, just check that out. And I own a professional grade Graco paint sprayer. I paid like $1,600 for it. Phenomenal piece of equipment. 
splits down just an amazing cone of paint. Uh, it's just it's just fun to use. It's it's like a video game. It really is. Um, and I'm not talking about some Wagner sixty dollar piece of crap that's battery powered or whatever. It doesn't even have any PSI. This thing will cut through your skin. Like it's 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 the the bee's knees as they call it. Uh, but here's the problem. Um, no matter how much fun I use with that thing or get from using that thing, every time I see a video on TikTok of people spraying you know, whatever cabinets or an exterior of a house or whatever. I watch it every time and I've done it. Like it doesn't like, I don't know. It's just strange. Um, I don't know what that even means, but I threw that in there anyway, as a token of my appreciation. Y'all have a great one. Hey, Giddy.